So what was your analysis of the last race of last season? You know, that's a tough one. I don't, I, I wouldn't have wanted to have been Michael Massey, but remember something that wasn't the stewards. That decision on the restart was made by the race directors. That was race director, right? You know, it was that Michael Massey, who they, who they've let go, and I think that it was, you know, you you don't think about you try not to think about the points or anything in there, but you can't help with all the hoopla and the buildup. And he's now been doing twenty two races. He's you know everybody's exhausted. He's traveling like a maniac all over the world, track inspections, this, that, and the other. Everybody's in his face over this, you know, do this, do this, do this. Um, he came under immense pressure, which I think was wrong, where the, where the team principals could radio to him and, oh, what about this? What about that? Don't do this. Don't do that. That's wrong. He needs to make the decision. Um, and I, I think, unfortunately, when he only waved, if he had waved all the cars by, the race would have ended under yellow. And yes. the team that all came and said, we'd rather not, we don't want to finish under a yellow. We'd rather have, you know, it would have been kind of anticlimactic, especially that, that especially particular race. with it, what was on the line. <laughs> with, with everything was on the line. So he tried to do it. Okay, I'm going to let these five cars go. And, and so it bunched up. But, and whether he knew that Max stopped and changed for, tires you know and had soft tires on and lewis had 41 he may not have even know, had that all going on because he's trying to clean up that accident for latifi and get the workers off the track and everything i mean unbelievable pressure you know wow. and uh, and so you don't Great perspective you know and i think it's not it's it's not unfair to criticize him but i think it's unfair to um unequivocally just say he's wrong and and get rid of him. I mean, it's, it's a tough deal, but um, I think there was enough pressure to, you know, and uh, I can tell you, I can tell you one thing with the late Charlie Whiting, um, they wouldn't have been radioing in to talk to Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Charlie just, he would have stopped that. He would have right shut it down. <laughs> yeah. Those guys look, well, I've got this. <laughs> Leave me alone. I know what I'm doing. Remember? And Speaking of Hollywood, I mean, Netflix has certainly put a different wow. spotlight on Formula One, and this has become a little bit of a reality series to some extent. Mm -hmm. The circuit has, and you go back to the days when you raced it and, you know, and Bernie Ecclestone's control and the curtain was closed and nobody saw anything that was going on. And now it's wide open. In fact, it's, it's more than wide open. There yeah. are cameras everywhere on everyone. <laughs> yeah, it's. You know, I think with social media too, because Bernie kept social media pretty uh, eliminated or. Oh, yeah. Locked it down. Yeah. And I think that uh, Liberty's done a fabulous job. You know, uh, Chase Carey and, and all, and Sean Bratches, those guys came with the idea for Drive to Survive. I mean, that was their, that was yeah. their baby. Sean's been and a guest on this show. Yeah. And it's changed, I think, the way there are so many people that, that uh, didn't. Have, that were in racing, the families didn't even follow it until Drive to Survive. I mean, I know more people now that drive, oh, I love it, I love it. You know, and, and I think because of that, it brought it into everybody's living room. Now, the pandemic probably helped that because more people were looking around, but the diehard fans are, are, are unbelievable what that did. So that added a pressure. And, um, and then the pressure of what we all forget is how much is at stake for those teams and for those drivers. I mean, Max is a world champion. You know, if it had, if it had finished the way it was, Max wasn't gonna be world champion after having a stellar season. I'm not, I'm not favoring anybody one way or the other. I'm just saying, but it's now, you know, Lewis only has seven. I mean, <laughs> you, know, <laughs> it, you know, but uh, you know, but if you think about it, I mean, he lost to, he lost to Rosberg uh, one point in Abu Dhabi and then he lost on that. And the, the, the part that I think was probably the hardest for Mercedes and, and for Lewis is they had started off the season not very good. The car wasn't great. They had caught up and then they had really been dominant toward the end. Not only that, he had been dominant that race. I mean, they, he, he was, he was pulling away from those guys on lap on 41 lap tires. Yes. Yes, and, and to, so it wasn't like 
you know, it got taken away from him that Max had, you know, been dominant. He, he got, you know, so I think all that just added to the drama.